congratulations on being in the leadership. Thank you very much. Can yeah. Can you describe the feeling? What a, is everyone like? Um, yeah, I guess um, I'm honoured just to be a part of it. But once again, I've said it before, we've got so many leaders in this club and squad that, you know, we've got such an amazing and strong strong women around us. So it's just, you know, uh, I'll, it's great. The fact that, you know, I've got a lot of the girls that obviously trusted me and see me as a leader. So, yeah. What do you think you'll bring to the role? Um, I guess the same stuff that I've brought the whole time I've been here really, that nothing really changes. Um, you know, I've, I definitely know on field um, I, I have a big voice and uh, I know that's definitely one of my strengths so that's something that, that will come out but um, yeah, I've, nothing really in terms of how I go about, you know, day to day things and at the club and in and amongst the girls is, is the same so nothing really changes really. Is it a compliment to Erin and Chels that I guess five of you um, to, to cover them? Yeah, d definitely. It was uh, it was funny when Doc told us because he goes, you know, we don't do normal here. So, um, and it's one of those that you know we've got Erin and Chelsea who are outstanding and phenomenal leaders um, and I'm really looking forward to obviously just now getting getting to be in this sort of space and learn more from them um, even just for my own leadership and for my own you know growth as a as a human so um, but it's definitely you know you can see from from them um, having five of us and not just five you know there was there was other girls that got votes that docs like you know we obviously you can see where we're in good hands and obviously there's a lot of emerging young ones that got lots of votes that you know he could have easily had had in the squad as well so yeah it's really exciting and how's Erin going? Is she still um, training well and pushing for? Yeah, she's yeah she's she's going well. She uh, she did a session. The the rehab group did a session on Saturday morning in Perth, and and they were flying, and she was running and and doing her football stuff. So, um, you know, as, as well as she at, she can, she's tracking, and you know, we'll see when she can join the group soon, hopefully. Has um, good news with Denny this morning. Oh, awesome news with Denny. So yeah, we all um, we all missed her yesterday, uh, Sunday when we were at Rottnest Island and thinking of her and um, just sending her positive vibes. And and this time it, it came out good. So yeah, we're really really happy for her. Um, uh, if Erin doesn't come back for round one, um, how are you guys going to choose the captain? <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually had no idea, but I did get just mentioned that Doc thought about it uh, or mentioned that we'll probably just do a rock off. So uh, we are we are competitive, the five of us or the whole squad really. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, I reckon I reckon I go with rock first, but I uh, <laughs> can't tell anyone now. I'll have to change it up. <laughs> uh, what's the philosophy behind the leadership group? Because obviously um, you've had five captains up until now. So what what is going to change? Um, I guess obviously in terms of having it's it's just I think the squad has and, and, and the club has done it really well before is the fact that we actually empower every single one of us in the squad. So um, for instance an Eloise Jones can turn around to Chelsea Randall and tell her what what needs to be done out on the field. Um, and that's not something that I think a title's needed. So in terms of what's out there, we have so many leaders that aren't part of the leadership group. Um, but I guess it's just giving that process of Okay, if there is that, you know, someone that you need to talk to, there's five of us that you can come and talk to. Um, and obviously then from there, we can take it up further to Erin or Chelsea. But um, like I said, with our culture and our club, I feel like anyone can go to anyone and have a chat. Anyone can go and approach Doc. Um, but obviously, in terms of processes, if, if there is someone that isn't sure, they know who to kind of, they can kind of reach out to. So, yeah. Uh, you guys have just been away to Perth. Yeah. Um, obviously you've got eight new players, so a away trip can be important for the team bonding. Oh, 100%. Um, as you're aware from last year with, in Darwin, but um, going away together is always that extra excitement. Um, you do get to spend more and more time together, which is unreal. Um, and it's, and it's off-field football stuff too, so don't get me wrong, obviously the important side of having a game and playing is, is just as critical, but we had a leadership seminar or session that Chelsea and Aaron ran for us on Saturday, which was um, awesome, and and got everyone in and amongst it. And you know, we got to talk to girls that maybe we don't have the time here in Adelaide. Everyone's coming and going from school or work or whatnot. Um, so it was actually really nice just to kind of chill out and and enjoy each other's company and get to know a couple of the new faces more. Just with the vote, was it done away on the weekend? Yeah, it was done in Perth. So um, we had uh, we actually had the leadership. 
uh, workshop that Erin and Chelsea ran. We had a bit of a riff roff. We all got split up into little groups and we had to do a dance and a sing along and everyone played their role, which was uh, which was funny and exciting. Um, and then obviously after that we all we all voted um, based on who who we'd like to see in the leadership group. So yeah. Was it always going to be five or was? No, I don't think Doc expected that. I think I've, um, he even said it to us. He goes, the 15, 20 years that I've uh, done this before, he goes, I've never seen this amount with that amount of votes that high. And like he said, he's like, we don't do normal, so we, we're going to keep doing us. And, and he's happy. So I don't think he expected five. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think, I think the, five, the five had quite there were there was a couple votes between between us and then obviously even like he he did mention Anne Hatchard, Eloise Jones and Ebony Marinoff that you know were up there as well but obviously there was a bit of a bit of a break between the five and and the rest but um but like I said that's that's 8 to 10 that's that's you that's your team out there on the field so um we can't complain at all yeah what will your game day roles be actually on the ground is it just making sure that everyone follows the same message how does it work during quarter time half time how does it work with five of you? Um, I guess it's uh, it's funny because I think people, when you think about a leadership role or a captain, they have to have a role. And I think that's that's the really good thing about our club is that anyone can say anything at quarter time, at half time. Um, I feel like we have that empowerment that, that everyone has a voice. Um, it's not just the leaders. It's not just Aaron and Chelsea that can say something or it's not just Doc, um, even, even the other coaching staff. So... I think of it as there's no role in terms of yeah I've been given this title but you know does it change anything how I go about my game day no you know if I see something happen on the field I'll approach that player and I'll go tell them what I think needs to happen or or vice versa so um, I don't see it maybe just a rock off now and a coin toss maybe that's the only uh, change that I can think of but yeah. <laughs> you played your first game of footy on Saturday. How did it feel to be back? Oh. It was great. I definitely uh, missed, obviously, not playing the week before, and it's it's much easier playing footy than uh, running and doing your skills and and conditioning on your own. So I um, love being back in in and amongst the girls, and it was just get, good to just get a hit out and actually play a game, play against an opposition, and I feel my body that okay, I'm okay, you know, Sunday, and I can get through this. So yeah. <laughs> when Daddy went down uh, during the match, did everyone? Was it I guess, was everyone shocked to see, oh, no, not another one, or um, was the reaction amongst the Yeah, I, I actually didn't see the hit. I kind of looked over, saw that someone was down. Um, CJ told me that Denny um, had a bit of a collision, and, and she said she's holding her knee, and she said she heard something. Um, so, obviously, me being a part of the... Chelsea's named at the Amazing Courageous Legends Club. Um, I've been in there three times, so I know what it's like. So, I uh, my heart definitely kind of... But, obviously... We had a job to do, we had a task at hand, so you kind of put that aside and then obviously approached any later. But um, it's definitely never a nice thing, even opposition, opposition players, anybody. I definitely uh, don't wish it upon anyone, that's for sure. You guys had a 17-point win. What are some of the key learnings you took out? How important is a win in pre I mean, win, lose, that's not what we look at, but um, definitely our pressure... Um, we got it back to the level, especially our defensive pressure, um, it, which is where we wanted it to be. And obviously, I think it will put us in good stead for round one. Um, but in terms of a practice match, I guess it's hard to, you know, it's always nice to win, um, makes things a little bit easier. But in terms of just the morale and the and people around you, but in terms of what we wanted from the game, it's just getting that game plan, fine tuning, finding out certain rotations where people, you know, might be playing and that sort of thing. So, and it was really good to get. For me, that didn't play. Renee didn't play. A couple of us, Jess Foley, got some minutes. So the girls that missed out on the game the week before just to get minutes in our legs and um, obviously the new faces as well, give them another taste of AFLW and, and the pressure and the intensity and, and what's required week in, week out. So, yeah. Who's impressing out of the new girls? Oh, um, it's <laughs> nearly all of them, really. But um, obviously, um, playing down back, I got to play with Nicole Campbell down there. So, which I thought, you know, her run and and, and pressure and even a, just her left left leg are great. So it's really, I guess, I get to see that up close and personal. Um, Naj actually had a run through the back half back, and she was like, eh, "Just talk to me, MJ. Tell me where I'm going." But um, they're all doing really well. Even Jamie Tab, you know, Maddie Newman, like the the Rucks, Caitlin Gould and Monty, they did fantastic in there. Obviously, then. 
once Jess Foley came in at half time, um, they swapped it, swapped it around and Caitlin came down back as well, had a run there and even bids um, Chelsea, she had a run down back. So it was, yeah, it was really good just to see them all kind of in and amongst it and they're naturals. They've been playing footy now compared to me. I've only been playing, this is my fourth year, so they've been playing all their life. So you can see um, the skill level and, you know, they're, they're already ahead um, to where I was, so which is awesome. Speaking of the ruts, has Doc settled on what might be the... Nah, I don't think so. I don't think he's... He obviously was uh, He was testing. Obviously, we have Ree Metcalf that I'm sure when she'll, she'll be back as well and available. But it's definitely a good good headache to have, I'm sure. Um, but, yeah, I don't think he's settled. Or he hasn't told me anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. So, is Metcalf likely or you don't know if she's pushing for... Um, well, I think she'll get... Well, she'll play some games um, in terms of coming back from her rehab, probably in the Sample W, and then be... And then hopefully push herself for selection. Um, but in the meantime, obviously, Jess Foley came back and then um, he was obviously rotating Montana and, and Chelsea and even Caitlin Gould in there. So, um, yeah, not sure who he's going to go for, but, yeah. How's uh, Foley she looking? Is she looking like she might play round one? Uh, I don't know, round one, but um, she's obviously tracking along. It's hard when you're eight to ten months rehab, you know, sometimes it's like, all right, just that extra month might might do the trick. So there's never a, a time limit, never a, a, you know, exact moment because anything can happen sort of thing in rehab, little things. So, um, But she's definitely tracking along and um, I'm sure she'll be back at some stage this season. Just for the record, did you use to captain Adelaide United? Yes. Yeah, uh, just the one season, so yeah.